we are going to write a formula for this sequence. And by convention, we will start with n is equal to 1, and we have 1. And when n is equal to 2, we have 0. And when n is equal to 3, we have negative 1. And when n is equal to 4, we have 0. And then 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, and so on, so on, so on. <laughs> Notice that this right here is not as easy as the 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. It's not as easy as that, because it does not alternate consecutively like the other one I mentioned. So what kind of function can we you know, use to describe this pattern? There are two ways to look at this. If you want to just think about it, you start with something with 1, right? And then you go to 0, and then you have negative 1, and then 0, and then 1, and 0, and so on. And if you just want to make a quick sketch, and right here we are talking about n is equal to 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4, and then go on forever. And let's just say the 1 is right here, and then the 0 is right here, and then the negative 1 is right here, and then uh, 0 is right here, and then 1 is right here for the fifth term, right? Doesn't this kind of graph look familiar to you? You begin with something is 1, and then you go 0, and then you go negative 1, and you come back up. Doesn't this look like one of the you know, sine cosine function? And yes, it does, right? And um, which one are we going to use, though? Are we going to use the sine or cosine? It, it depends on how you want to do it. And let me just look at this picture instead. We are kind of running around a circle, and we are running around the unit circle. So if you begin with the unit circle right here, the x value here is 1. And then once you go here, the x value is 0. And then once you go here, the x value is equal to negative 1. And then here, the x value will be 0. And then here, you are back to 1. We are running around the unit circle. So because we are talking about the unit circle, and then we are talking about the x value, so that's the cosine function that we can use. And I will just call this um, sequence an, just to give you a name. It's going to be cosine of something. And you see that each every time, we kind of just turn pi over 2 radians, right? So it must be some kind of multiple of pi over 2. So let me put down pi over 2 right here. And I want to start with 1 right here, right? The result is 1. Cosine of 1 angle will be um, 1. Cosine of 0 will be 1. But then we start with n is equal to 1. So right here, what I need to plug in is I need to use n minus 1. I had to use n minus 1 and then times pi over 2 to make this happen. And let's do a quick check. If n is equal to 1, I plug in 1 to this n, 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 times pi over 2, we have 0 inside. Cosine of 0 will give us this one. Okay? And then if n is equal to 2, plug in 2 into this n, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 times pi over 2 is pi over 2 inside. Cosine of pi over 2 will give us 0. So as you can see, this right here is um, a formula for that. And sometimes it may be helpful when we just plug, in the, plug the points onto a graph so we can see it much better. So you see that if you see the pattern you know, like this, like a wave, maybe sine cosine will, will be helpful. And then usually when we have any kind of repeating pattern, sine cosine will be really useful. Okay, this is it.